I'm discovering With no cares, life is so busy Can I justify being lazy? If I miscount the turn of what I could be I had enough of the world Always begging me to this, to that So I'm escaping Butterfly is the right to run Or am I falling short of who I should become? We gotta hurry up. We gotta go faster. It's not taking too long. We're running out of time. Uh, hey everyone. Let's uh, find out what uh, what's going on on the dark side of the moon. Hopefully everyone can hear me okay. Yes, my mic levels are looking good. Well, if uh, Belly Girl's prediction from last week that there's only actually six minutes left in the game, then this could work out very well. Descend into the tunnel. There may be some kind of light source in there, but I don't know where that thing leads, so I aren't going in there without some kind of backup. I aren't. Oh, shoot. I see you guys. There may be some kind of light source in there. But I don't know where that thing leads, so I aren't going in there without some kind of backup. Alright, so we need some backup. That's, I guess the most likely thing is to call, uh... What's your name? Alex. No answer. We could try our buddy Julian. No answer. This random lady who called from my kid's school. You want to go into <laughs> into ways? I uh, unknown. Uh, no answer. Space chamber in my backyard? Nope. How about my estranged wife? Missing for a number of years. 
she also does not want to venture into the mysterious uh, tunnel in my backyard. Wife slash alien, yeah. We should update that in the contacts. All right, um, into the house. What about Gideon? Maybe Gideon wants to go in the tunnel. I mean, he, he, we had words last time, but we can put that beside. Put that beside us. Oh, where's the flashlight? Huh. Hello, Alice. Jesus, still work. <laughs> Handy. There you have it. Flashlights handy. Look at it. it could be pretty tactical too. Shine a light down there. Here we go. Let's find out just what the hell is down this tunnel. I guess we don't need backup. This is unbelievable. Not a CGI image. Alex? Yeah. You will not How do you get cell service in there? What I've just found. The only way I can describe this is Sarah's dungeon. No, not a room dungeon. <laughs> yeah, I'll call you back if I find anything. I will. Definitely looks like something you did in Unity there. That's all right. You needed a set. You made it work. that Sarah was going through this alone. She managed to keep all of this a secret from me for over 12 years. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that. Well, all right then. I guess we go up and uh, use this SD card in the laptop and see what it's about. Therapy sessions with Mr. Harper. And we're recording now. Right. Dr. Bernard Harper with Sarah Hamilton, 21st of May, 2009. Session number eight. How are you feeling today, Sarah? No change, Dr. Harper. No improvement since last Friday's talk? Talking doesn't fix things. Words alone won't stop this from happening. Okay. There it is again, this ideology that we're under threat from and i'll quote you here sarah extraterrestrial beings now when i say that back to you how does that sound to you how does that make you feel i know what you're doing 
I get the mind games aspect of this, trying to get in here to see where my wiring went wrong. It didn't go wrong. We seem to be going on in circles you here. You came to me to get to the bottom of these thoughts. I'm here to help you, Sarah. Together, we can crack this case, so to speak. But I need you to answer the questions, and only then can we begin to see if we can make progress, get some closure. I'll ask again. How does the term extraterrestrial beings make you feel? Fear. I feel fear. And why is that? What is it about these beings that conjure up this feeling of fear inside you? Dr. Harper, when I was 12 years old, my father disappeared. He left both me and my mother for three years. We had absolutely no idea where he went. No note, no clue, no nothing. He simply vanished without a trace. My father had made us all dinner that night. Pizza and chips. That was his limit when it came to cooking. I remember it like it was yesterday. As time passed, my mother and I both learnt to cope, which as you can imagine, wasn't easy. And then one morning, three years later, I came downstairs ready for school, and there he was, sat on the sofa with a cup of tea in his hand, watching TV as if he had never left. He had no idea he had been away. I'm... I'm not quite following. So your father vanished without a trace for three years Three and... years, yes. I didn't know what to do. He was just sat on the sofa like he was every morning, as if nothing had happened. My immediate reaction was to run over to him and give him the biggest hug in the world. Here you go, Sarah. Take a tissue. Thank you. I hugged him forever. I asked him where he'd been. And what did your father say? He looked at me, confused. He insisted he'd not been anywhere and even reminded me that he'd made us pizza and chips that previous night. Where was your mother? She came downstairs when she heard the commotion. The first thing she did was slap him. <laughs> His face was a picture. So... Okay, okay, um... I know. Doesn't add up, does it? There must be some kind of... Oh, there's an explanation. Go on. On my 18th birthday, my dad sat me down to talk. He told me to pay full attention. Our family... Our family has always... Go on, Sarah. I'm listening. I'm sorry. It's just difficult to even put this into words without the inevitable judgment. And why is it difficult for you? Because it sounds so... Because it sounds so... Go on. Because it sounds so silly. Yes. There we are. It's okay. It does sound silly. Alien beings aren't a real thing, Sarah. It's a combination of past memories and your child's mind filling in the gaps with make-believe so that you could cope as a child with your father's disappearance. Making up these beings was your cope mechanism. And that's okay. But there comes a time when we need to let go of childish things. No! No! That's not it! That's not it at all! These things have been taking our family for years. Take it. It's been happening to my family through the generations. They need us. They need us so they take us for our DNA. They're dying. They're dying and they need something within our DNA to recreate, replenish their species. This is what my father was telling me. This is what happened to him. A few years before he died, he told me everything. I swear to God, it's all true. I know I sound like a lunatic, but please, for the love of God, just listen to me. Oh, Sarah. I think we should end today's session right here. We can try again Why next won't you week. believe me? They're going to come back again, and I know exactly who they're coming after. My kids! Do you want proof? Here! Here's your proof! What is that? A scar? It's where they implanted something in me, so they can come and take me back whenever they wish, wherever I might be. A tracking device. Imagine living with that fear. I see. Okay, as I said, We'll continue this next week, and Sarah, please get some rest.
Just what the fuck was this? Sarah was speaking to a psychiatrist? All this talk of aliens and abductions. Sarah, how and why were you keeping all of this from me? Something's telling me that I might find something else down in that dungeon. All right. So she's not saying that it's aliens, but well, no, she's saying it's aliens. She says uh, they'll be coming for the kids, Alex. Sarah was expecting this. Mm. I'll be here for you. I'm not going over there for you. You you just you just text. Seven metallic rings, each one engraved with what appears to be random letters from the alphabet. What do I do with these? What indeed? A rude dungeon. <laughs> I still don't trust this owl over here. Look at him. That is a pretty small fridge. All right, um... Maybe we text Alex and tell her about the things we found? No answer. Seven metallic rings. Each one engraved with what appears to be random letters from the alphabet. What do I do with these? I'm trying to think if we run into anything uh, that might be like an alphabetical puzzle or something like that. But I don't, I don't think we have. Not that I remember anyway. Check the kids' rooms. We haven't done that in a while. Andy, uh, Ruby.
and I just make our way around see if we see anything new Nothing here. How about the public house? Anything in the woods? Alright, so the only thing left is uh, to go to Alex's house, so we'll head there. Hey, Dean. Hey, check out these things I found. What is that? It looks like it should be important. It looks like there should be more pieces. Go and see if you can find some more pieces. Well, okay. I don't think I've ever heard of co coyote before. Seriously, I had to do all that just so I could go back down and find a new thing. All right, you're not fooling me again. I'm going to check them down here right away. <laughs> do you have anything new? No. Alright. The metallic thing that I found in Sarah's hidden dungeon. It looks like there's several pieces missing. Wait a second. Okay. I was going to say, if you played those kind of games, I'd be pretty annoyed. Let's take all this to Alex. Maybe now she can figure it out. That is kind of weird. Uh, I'll leave the house.
Hey, Dean. Alex? Oh, this looks like the final piece. The final. The only question left oh. now is, what do we do with these? That's why I came to you. It's, I, it has bothered me every time I go into uh, her house, Kenji. Ooh, puzzle things. B A C D E I don't know what to do with all this. Listen, I'm gonna go. Okay, leave this with me. I've got this. She's got this. It always looks like some sort of like a, a statue of some uh, some sort of person standing there. <laughs> she did not have this. That was my best Ron Howard. Turns out Ron Howard is just basically me sounding like a narrator. That's just his voice. Let's telephone everybody. Hey Alex, Alex, you figure you figure out the thing I just left, but I'm uh, did you uh, what? Huh? She's not answering. No answer. Hello, random person from my kid's school who's now in my contacts. No answer. Hey, my best buddy for life that said he would be here for me throughout this entire. Uh, traumatizing ordeal in my life. No answer. <laughs> Hello, person that I s we swore to live in love together for the rest of our lives. They've all abandoned me. <laughs> all right. This torch will no doubt come in handy. Seven metallic rings. Each one engraved with what appears to be random letters from the alphabet. What do I do with these? don't know what to do now other than just man knock about and was it meander but no no we're, we're knocking about
Yeah, I wonder. Do... Seven metallic rings, each one in what? I did use the item. I, I, I don't. Seven metallic uh, rings, each one engraved with what appears to be random letters from the alphabet. All I can do is click it like that. I, I can't I actually do with these. Um, manipulate it. The demand read. Andy and Ruby's left it in the hand. Maybe more uh, things on the SD card that I can check out. I don't think there were, but... I think it's just going to go through the sessions again. Yeah, okay. This is all just one thing, one pre recorded video or whatever. Cutscene. Cuddles. Who be Teddy? Her friend. Why was it out there dead? I need to use the rings. Seven metallic on to cuddles. Those I don't think I can click on. I think I can only actually interact with the things that have a menu option. So these these things here. Let's see what they've been searching for. I think this should be what we saw before. Unicorn toys. Yeah, we already saw this. Table. All right, let's go back to Alex's house. Maybe she's figured it out. Right, Alex. Let's have another go at cracking this... whatever it is. Ooh. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> you did it, Dean. But what do I we... clicked on the thing four times. Whoa. Sarah. Your wife, Sarah. Dean, I knew you'd work this device out. I always <laughs> knew you would. I knew you'd figure out the truth. This is a message I recorded for you a few years ago the day of the last solar eclipse. I'm going to presume you listened to my tapes with Dr. Harper, so you know how significant eclipses are in my life, my family's life. I have the gene dean. The gene so dean? My children. Now, this is going to be difficult for you to process. I recorded this message in the case that I was taken and because you're listening to this I have been and if I'm not there to protect you all chances are they have or will have taken our children please, please understand that I never left you never 
Now, this device, Dean, it can take you to the moon. To the moon! The dark side of the moon. And I know, I know, it sounds like nonsense. You are our only hope, my love. Dean, be that man I know you can be. Come and bring your family home. Pick up. Now, listen, in order to use this device to transport you there, all you need to do is... In oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, indeed. Help us, Obi Dean Kenobi. You're our only hope. Too weak or got intercepted before completion. Alex, what have I got myself into here? Hey. You're not alone. Remember? I'm with you at every step of the way. But not those steps out of the out of your house. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess we should check out the dungeon. I don't know what else where to go now. Look at this thing, I guess. Let's have another look at this thing. Ooh, okay. Now we got some options here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. What do we know that needs seven letters? Um, how many letters is in Gideon? G I D. That's not going to be enough. That's going to be too many. Really? Oh, yeah, Gideon. That's right. Bella Gill. I can try big. Bella Gill's giving us a word. I know it. It all makes sense now. Things are coming together. We don't need moon supplies. <laughs> Hello, moon.
didn't even bring sunscreen. This is fucking unbelievable. Here I am, on the moon. Said I was telling the truth all along. And so far, it looks like Alex has hit the nail right on the head too. Whatever the hell this place was, they were catering for creatures that require oxygen. Huge vents were pumping cold oxygen into the corridors like no tomorrow. <laughs> Ruby and Andy must be around here somewhere. I have to keep moving forward. Going back isn't an option. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I hope this not is not a maze. around the corner oh my god it's so window is it or a door Right under your nose. Gideon. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not Gideon. I'm still me. I'm still Julian. Our meeting was never an accident. Remember when we first met? At the hospital. 
Sarah just gave birth to Ruby. You were a porter. Exactly. You see, we've always been watching. Waiting. I don't think you quite understand the importance of your children. Importance? These are my kids, and you're going to have to get through me to get to them. Not a problem. Dodge! Why? We need your children, Dean. We can't afford to lose them. Why are you doing this? What don't you understand? Without them, our species is over. Our species? But you're not one of them. I am, Dean. But what about our friendship? Our friendship, Julian? And the kids? The birthdays? Christenings? Christmases? You bastard. Put it this way. You'd do anything for your own. Yes? Don't you dare try to justify the abduction and killing of little kids, you sick! I'm their dad, and I'll do anything to protect them. Anything, if that means killing you, then I'm past caring. I am past caring, believe me. And this, this whole thing that you've got going on here, whatever this is, it means nothing, nothing compared to the love I have for my children. I've been to the moon for them, and I'm taking them back home. Yes, I won't do anything for my kids. Anything! Okay. Uh, left or right? Why not left? How am I getting service? I can't get ser good service in my apartment when I'm sitting on my couch. But they're getting it on the dark side of the moon, which means it's going through the moon. <laughs> Remember when we talked about tea? Good times. Because you need their DNA. You don't need to be doing this. Please, just let them go. Look out there. Do you honestly think I'd get this far and then just say, Ah, fuck it, because you say so. <laughs> oh, you make me laugh. A nudge in the right direction doesn't work if it's through the freaking moon. There's, uh, unless you nudged it all the way to Mars.
It's true. I don't know how you even see the earth. Maybe I need to use one of my devices or objects in my inventory. Cuddles! Sorry, Cuddles. You weren't quite enough. <laughs> the power of Cuddles does not abide. No, the first time I, I clicked uh, um, rescue, I'll, I'll do it again just to make sure. At least that was my intention. Yeah, okay, same result. Yeah, I'm gonna try the flashlight next. Boo boo, light, light in your eyes. Oh. Uh, band. <laughs> uh, let's see. Throw my phone at him. <laughs> You're asking me to hack? <laughs> Excitement is at fever pitch here in Marywine, where in the field behind me over 1,000 revelers have joined together to watch the solar eclipse. However, it is not all plain sailing, as are reports from the one cell network that their entire network capability has gone dead. Hack the moon! I worked on oh, Julian. Or just kind of pushed him. <laughs> I'll go on. I'll play it off. Bring it on. So bad. No! Lazy 
Scissorin time! Welcome to my game. Ruby, Andy, quick, come on guys, we need to get out of here. Dad, I knew you'd come. I told you I'd always be there for you. Mum is here somewhere. I know, I know. Follow me. I get an achievement that says, in space, no one can hear you explode. will no doubt come in handy. Did it though? It's Sarah's transporter. It helps me travel, shall we say. I wasn't going to start playing with this thing here. Are you two okay? We are not your head, Dad. Ruby, why was Cuddles in your den? <laughs> we needed to solve the mystery the of cuddles. Escape from the house. We made it to our den before he took us. Why didn't you hear his dad we were screaming for you? <laughs> Daddy was asleep. And drunk. Listen, are you two okay? Did he hurt you? We're okay, Dad. We just want to go home. With you and Mum where we belong. Figure out how to open this damn thing. This torch will no doubt come in handy. My house keys. <laughs> Sadly, the house keys did not work on the moon. Cuddles, bees, Teddy, it's of it's some friend. use. Why was it out there, Dan? We already know why I was at the den. Was there a thing at the bottom right? I didn't see a thing on the bottom right. I need to figure out oh, how to it open this damn I thing. Uh, yeah, I hate, I, I've hated that that spot the entire time. It's so easy for me to miss. Uh. I don't know what to push. Let's push all the buttons. Oh, I heard that pattern from that little from that light in the other room, uh, but I didn't pay attention to it. I, I think that's what it needs. Let's go back. So, a nice light tone, the chirpy purring, and then a um, more banjo y sound. I need to figure out how to open this damn thing. All right, let's see which is which. All right, that's the second one. That's the third one. And this will be the first one. All right, so we played that one. Now top. And middle. Sarah, 
Sarah. Bane? Yeah. What the? Come on. Come on. Come on, darling. Okay. Okay. I'll talk soon. But for now, we're getting you out of here, okay? Please tell me about the device. Of course I brought the device. I don't think I got it God, how mental is this? Come on. Come on, sweetheart. Oh. <laughs> That's another device, Bigfoot. Yeah. Bigfoot. I'm so proud of you. You did it, Dean. You did it. I thought you'd left me. Never. Never in a million years. Oh, no, please. Come on. Let's go home. Why have I got some questions for you? Ruby dooby doo. Take Three yours. months later. Who's on? Who's on? Bye, Alex. Bye, Alex. Remember, same time next week, yeah? Right. <laughs> right. Who's with it? Okay. Oh, take your <laughs> Have you seen me? Excuse me? I mean, you know, I'm sorry to interrupt the fun. <laughs> Get in! I need another laser! <laughs> Poor fists. You actually are rather determined for a human. No fucking point in existence, are you? No, no, don't do this! So, uh, I got an achievement that says, that said, uh, something to the effect that I unlocked ending two. Oh, I like these, uh, this montage of pictures. Big Wolf. Shot on location in North Yorkshire, England. Super Mega Crash Bros Turbo. And the Terrorific Lady.
Yeah, looks like uh, some choices uh, made a little different might end up getting you a different kind of outcome on that. Um, ooh, what do we got? What do we got? It's going to zoom in. We're going to find out. The mastermind behind it all was Cuddles. And now I got an achievement for Finn. Do they say Yorkshire? Yorkshire? Begun, the Clone War has. Um, all right, well, that's uh, the dark side of the moon. Um, looks like there's still uh, some meat to pick off that bone if anyone is so inclined. I might be so inclined. I'll have to think about it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry it was a little late. Uh, I'll see you all uh, next week.